sounds good, doesn't it? Stall tomato. I shall change the starting out all. I'd say that flywheel's fucked you now. Oh dear. That's what you call a poorly flywheel. See that? Not the best, is it? That's either happened because I think it might because this starter motor's been playing up and not engaging right, or it just might be just a shitty flywheel. But it's fucked anyway. That's past the point of no return, that flywheel. That needs changing. And a new starter mode point on it. Surprised it was starting at all, this job. Well, I hope it starts again when I put the starter on, because I need to get it off this pit. I'm going to put the starter back on, go to that. Could not do it today. Yeah, I'm going to turn this flywheel try and find an half decent place to put this starter in just so I've got half a chance of starting it again. Oh that bit looks a bit better. Right, where's the starter on? I forgot to show you how you turn the flywheel look. Just move them look, that plate, move that, get your bar in. Can you see them little rings look there? Just turn it like that. Gonna be one of them days, isn't it? I wonder if it'll start now. All I want to do is get it started to go to that. Also, it'll be snarling me up, won't it? This is a job. I'm gonna to have to do this job in between Christmas and New Year, isn't it? Freaking hell. She struck up. More of that struck up with that flywheel in that condition, isn't it? Battery sounds about flat and all. Mind you, it will be if the driver's kept on trying it, obviously. Right, take this out and get my next job in. Next job, landing legs bent. When I find the fucking trailer. Yeah, it is a little bit bow legged, this one is. Yeah, it's bent there, look, you see it? Meant to be straight with air, look, that's bent over. You can't see it very good on the camera. In real life, though, it's bent. I told you it's gonna be one of them days today, didn't I? I've just messed around getting that trailer with the landing legs. I had to wait about half hour because a lorry was being unloaded. Got it in. I thought I had the right landing legs in stock, 301s. Uh, well, it's not. The 201s on it. <laughs> so, my mistake. <laughs> so, now I've got to wait now for the other landing legs to get here. Always the ball late, the run up to Christmas. For some reason, it always is. Everything goes wrong. Little job while I'm waiting. Side indicator repeater on the daft. Remove the little screw here, remove the little screw there. The idea, you've got two little torque screws holding the lamp in there and there. Pull that bad boy out. Undo the little pluggy. Remove the little bulby. These look, these, oh no, that's. Oh, it's just an indicator. I thought it was side and indicator, but it's not. I was going to show you the pegs are different length, but heights, but it doesn't matter. It lines up there, look, with that peg there. 
check it's working. Oh, that's a wonderful little light working. You are a good little light, brand new. See? Good. I would normally blast these off with a gas axe, these bolts, but because the leg hasn't been on very long, it looks like it's going to be on for a little while, but it'll do. You've got to wind your legs down though, so you go up on the floor, so when your new one comes, you know how hard to set it. To its maximum length. This extension I've got is well overkill. Well overkill. It's a hindrance. There she flies, Cyril. There she flies. Oh, boo boo. Got a boo boo. I'm still waiting now for the new one. I shall live to fight on another day, I think. It's just a flesh wound. One of the lads has just given me one of these nicotine sweets. Like a mint. I don't know whether you meant to suck it or what, it didn't tell me, but I've just chopped mine out and ate it. And ate it. Fucking hell. It's like eating a load of peppers or something. Oh. Never mind, put you off smoking, put you off doing anything for life. Jesus Christ. Oh. God, it's not in. Oh. Oh. I want a fag just to recover from the frickin' Nicorette tablet. Oh, Jesus. Fucking <laughs> hell. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Thanks for stopping me smoking and breathing as well. lost about an hour and a half of my day waiting for these legs, so I've got to make up some time. Got to fit them on double quick. Make sure the connecting ball's in as well. That connects the two legs, that it hasn't fallen out and you've missed it. Or else again, you'd have to undo all the bolts and put bar in here. Oh yeah, forgot to put that on. Make sure you remember to put that on as well. It takes me longer to do something if I'm rushing. So the Friday I was rushing around, trying to get done to pick up a ram at three o'clock when it shuts. Rushing around like a fucking blue ice fly. I reversed the rigid into the front of my van, bent all the bonnet in. Then when I finally got everything done, in time, about one o'clock, I thought, right, I've got plenty of time now to go and get the, uh, the ram. I went out the yard and I got stuck in traffic on the A1 for two hours, stood still. So I didn't get there anyway. So I achieved nothing apart from I didn't the front of my van up. That's rushing around for you, isn't it? Right. They're lovely and level. I'll bottle these up. On to the next job. Frickin' hell, I've just been half hour just trying to get parked up. Jeez, the yard is absolutely chocker, this place. Everyone's back for Christmas, ain't they? Park up all the trailers. People park trailers in like taking up two slots because they don't know how to back up and they leave about six foot gap in between the trailers when they could have just ut uttered up close to it for about two foot and then you could fit two trailers in. But no, let's be awkward. Let's just abandon it. So we take up all the spaces. So then poor Chris can't park his trailer up and he's struggling because of idiots. <laughs> Classic. Wonderful bit of backing, Chris, that. Wonderful. Well done. Now I need to find my next job. <laughs> Found one, finally. Hooray. Took me an hour to swap over these trailers. It's fucking rammed out there. Stainless steel chassis, bro. Amazing, eh, mate? Pity the axles aren't stainless, isn't it? <laughs> Until Christmas, boys, is it? How long we got now? We've got two days, isn't it? Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Okay, now. Yippee! The holidays are coming, the holidays are coming, holidays are coming. Right, guys, that'll do for today. Uh, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Woohoo! 
I'm working tomorrow night for a bit, but I doubt I'll be doing anything exciting. So if I don't post again tomorrow, happy Christmas to everyone and happy new year. Behave yourselves, don't drink too much. I know I won't be. No, of course I won't be. I don't do a thing like that, of course not. Yeah, have a good Christmas, spoil all the kids, and I'll see you back. Well, in between Christmas, I should think, in between Christmas and New Year. Because I'll be working still, won't I? They'll still need, the, the lorries don't stop you now. So catch you on the next one, guys. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year. Christmas Eve tomorrow! Woo, 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 woo. Right, I'm going to try my Christmas song. Two more sleep. Walking in a winter 